there's like all this, um, especially anti-trans kind of like hate going on now. And a lot of in Canada, and a lot of it is that this uh, one particular group that's very religious, and a lot of it is centered around the supposed indoctrination of children in schools. And it's not specifically. Um, directed towards people who transition, but it's also very much like very homophobic. But here's the thing that I don't get. A lot of people are calling this indoctrination. You know, you're, you're grooming your child, you're indoctrinating your child. How is, why, why would you not want your child to be educated on matters of sexuality or gender identities, right? Because if they're educated on it later on in life, right, they may not make mistakes. Like for example, I had one boyfriend, it was a messy situation and he was at my place one day and he was kind of like, he didn't want to use condom. I contemplated it for a second because, uh, you know, I thought I liked this guy. This guy had been in my life for a while. I thought I liked this guy. And it was a shite idea. Like the idea of like having sex with this guy without a condom just to gain his approval, you know, was, was a shite idea. Right? Could have very could have significantly shortened my lifespan. You know, had I been educated on something, but having been educated, right? Like having been through a sex ed program as a child, right? I knew if you don't use condoms, you put yourself at a high risk of catching HIV. You know, however, before I transitioned, no, but everything was about uh, sort of a fear geared towards HIV and HIV was somehow specific to homosexuals. Yet before I transitioned, I had no idea. I had no idea that men could catch HIV from women by not using a condom. I thought that was ludicrous. Apparently not. But doing something like having anal intercourse is a high risk activity. Right? And if you grow up, right, as as someone who transitions, as a, a girl who transitions, right, and you have a hard time drawing a mate, you have a hard time finding, keeping a boyfriend, right? Because there's all this transphobia and homophobia and all this jazz, right? You know, is it not better? Isn't that better to be educated to the fact that like, just because you're in this position, you should not do something like consent to a high risk activity and put your life at risk and potentially spread that virus on to another person, right? How do you combat something like that? Education. Protective sexual devices like condoms or PrEP. I had a condom break. I went to go see Emerge because I wanted to get on PrEP. They had to wake up a, a medical health officer in the middle of the night to get their consent to give PrEP in the province that I'm in. Right? What harm would it have done if somebody had just given me PrEP? 
Where is this giant fear? That doesn't make any sense to me. Why is it so hard to get prep in my, my province? We had this idea that like, Lesbians don't spread diseases amongst each other. This is bunk. It may be a slightly lesser risk, but it doesn't mean that it doesn't happen. It doesn't mean there isn't high risk activities. It doesn't mean that there's means of protecting yourself. It doesn't mean that you, you can't put in place, you can't educate people and put them into a position where they don't do something stupid. And we don't know anybody who's done this, like put out on a first date, you know, over and over and over again, trying to hook a partner. Isn't it better if you educate the child to have a level of self-worth and self-respect? You know, another prime example of education with, with say, children in relation to transitioning, right? If you want to get your hands on hormones, you can do anyone, anyone around the entire world knows that all you have to, if you're male to female, for example, all you have to do is get your hands on birth control. You can do estrogen dominance. You just take birth control and no problem. But there's problems, right? There's problems. I did not know this. I contemplated self-medicating and I had, I had a friend of mine educate me on it. Is it like, you can seriously, seriously, seriously mess up your cardiovascular system, right? You can seriously mess up the, the hemostatic nature of your body self-medicating with, with hormones, right? You do not want to do that. Right? You need the help of the general practitioner to help you do something like go through hormone replacement therapy if that is what you're going to do. But the idea that you're going to make it so that it doesn't ever happen, you're going to like somehow eradicate this by just being all hush hush about it, right? These sort of things in general, it's never going to happen. It is never going to happen. You know, people talk about like how, how people who transition is like a new thing. This is not a new thing. It's just that recently people have been allowed to actually be themselves. That's it. You know, my mother says that she does not remember this story, which is quite convenient, right? But she beat it out of me. Once. It only took once and I just went in the closet. However, a year later, maybe even half a year later, right? I was having unprotected sex with a boyfriend who was 20. Thinking that I'm his girlfriend of sorts or something. And then he dumps me for a cis girl. Now you can call me a dumb kid, but maybe I was. Maybe I was a dumb kid. Right? If someone had educated me, you know, instilled a level of self-worth, instilled a level of self-respect, you know, educating me how these things sort of unfold for someone like me, Right? What to expect, what to avoid, how to not get hurt, how to avoid abusive relationships, how to avoid becoming infected with an STD, and so on. How to avoid, you know, dealing with gender dysphoria and things like suicidal ideation, 
right? That would have been incredibly valuable. That would have been incredibly valuable. And yet somehow educating kids these days, right? Is, is an ideology? How? No, if, if education is an ideology, right? Then everything is an ideology. The counter arguments of ideology is ideology. It's just unbelievably stupid. It's just unbelievably stupid. I, you know, there's this whole move in Saskatchewan now in Canada, you know, there's, there's this ban about not allowing uh, children to do things like use pronouns, right? Or that like if children are using pronouns, parents have to be informed. Why, why do you not, as a first step before anything else, before anything else, why do you not want your children experimenting with pronouns amongst their friends and peers? I can tell you the reason why. The reason why is hate. The reason why is fascism. You know, but if there's no homophobia, if there's no hate and no discrimination, if there's no transphobia, Right? If there's no hatred, then there should be no shame. There should be no shame using pronouns with children. Right? And how do children know who or what they are without experimenting to some degree? Is pronouns not the safest way of experimenting? Right? People complain about drag queens being in classrooms. And I, I kind of comprehend it because drag queens can be a very, can, I mean, I don't know that the crux is to be sexual, but, but can be very sexual at time. Drag can be very sexual at time. However, drag can also not be sexual. You know, Alice Cooper was drag, right? You could say Joan Jett was drag to some degree in the same breath. You know, these people are influencing your children or influenced your children. They influenced me. I don't think they, they turned me into what I am, but you know, to some degree they influenced me in various different ways, like great music. But why, like, how do you know what you are unless you've experimented to some degree? If you've experimented with pronouns, like if somebody says, Johnny, how would you like to go by she, her pronouns? And Johnny's like, uh, no thanks. Right? Well, Johnny clearly knows. What what if Jane, right? Somebody asked Jane, how would you go, like to go by like she them? Right? And Jane was like, Yeah, that kind of works for me. Cause I, I kind of like identify as being a boy and I'm attracted to kind of like femme girls. As a cliche. You know, and maybe through experimenting with pronouns, they have no interest in doing this. Or maybe this is something they want to look into further. Right? Like, I know for me, like, like being myself, uninhibited, you know, in my own 
domain, right? Whilst I was incredibly, incredibly depressed, you know, made me happy. Being myself, oddly enough, made me happy. Being uninhibited, oddly enough, made me happy. Why would you not want to educate people? Why would you want to keep people ignorant? So they make all kinds of mistakes, go through life miserable, remain in the closet. They make other people's lives miserable and difficult. 